we're rolling. We've got our new pal, Blue Iris. How you doing today, Blue Iris? I'm doing great. You're doing great. What part of your body are we working on here? My right jawline. This is the right jawline, isn't it? And you've got a bump here, and it's got what looks like a small crater right in the center. I found that kind of interesting. Is there a story there? Um, it, I, I think it was just a pimple mm -hmm. that got large uh -huh. and infected, drained. And I had gone to a dermatologist. Right. Um, because when you have something like that draining on your face, it's kind of disturbing. It's a little scary too, yeah. isn't it? But uh, I just got antibiotics and she said there was nothing to do. Okay. And fast forward since then, has it gotten larger, stayed about the same, or gotten smaller since then? It's gotten larger and I've noticed over time that the skin, mm -hmm. it's like it's pushing forward, trying to come out. Okay. I think you've got some kind of little cyst in here. Uh, it could be an epidermoid cyst. Could be a pilar cyst since we're not far from the hairline, but probably more likely it's an epidermoid cyst. There. Okay, a little cold spray's coming now. There, there goes. we go. Very good. What's she gonna feel? A stick, sting, and a burn. Very good. So we're putting the medicine in really slowly. This is the numbing medicine. Now you told me that you take aspirin for your arthritis, which I find really interesting. Typically, physicians don't recommend that we use aspirin for arthritis pain because of the gastrointestinal risk of bleeding and other problems that it might cause. But you say it worked well for you, and I found that interesting. So here we are. Now that little crater is really opened up. It really does show a lot better now. I really do think that this is an epidermoid cyst. And I'm kind of dot in the center. Yeah, that dot in the center. I'm kind of surprised that your um, that your other physician didn't ask you to come back. Oh, she's Gonzo's being very nice. I'm not sure what she wants right now, but <laughs> I think there's there's something. <laughs> my secret. <laughs> I'm ready for the 15 blade. Yes. Sir. All right. So I think we're completely numbed here, and we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to use the uh, the 15 blade scalpel. We're going to make our first incision. So here we go. And you just stay real still. All right. If you okay. feel any pain or anything, just make sure you let them know. Absolutely. That's a requirement. Did you feel anything? No. Nope. A little pressure, maybe? Mm, just a little. Mm hmm. Hopefully, this isn't going to be that big or that deep, considering it's on the jaw. Are you feeling anything? Just, just push them. A little pressure there? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We expect that. You know what I see in there, Gons? I see a cyst. Is it a cyst? That's a cyst right there. It's, it's smiling at me. Hello! Yeah, it's a real friendly little cyst, I think. So we are seeing a little bit more bleeding. We know that our patient is on aspirin, so we're expecting this. And Blue Iris has arthritis, right? And so she uses, she found that aspirin works better for her than some of the non-sterile anti-inflammatories. And also, she had to stop using Tylenol because it was causing some liver function problems. Isn't that right? Yes. That's a little better. If you're not blocking. Good. Well, it drained before is what she said. Blue Iris said this drain actually had some stuff come out that was kind of cheesy-like. Oh, cottage okay. cheesy-like. And right? smelly. And had an odor mm -hmm. to it, right? So I think it is a... We're playing the peekaboo game. Let's see what we need to get to right there. So we need a little push here to pop up for us. Oh, more stuff came out. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, there's quite a bit there, isn't there? Yes, sir. You're fucking in with the... I think you're going to be fairly amazed when you see this video, Blue Iris as to what's kind of come out of here. Ta -da. Are you feeling any pain at all? No. Nah. Right. If you do, tell us. We give you more medicine. Well, Dr. Dr. G will give you more medicine. God will just give you a bad attitude. Yep. I don't know. Everybody's been really glad that I'm back working. Well, they missed you. They keep asking me if I'm staying indefinite. Well, you're not. 
You have to finish school. That's the rule. Do I really? Yes, you really do. Dawn, this thing about quitting. <laughs> no, you're staying in school, <laughs> and you're getting a decent education, and you're going to make something of yourself. You can't make a living on just saying stick, sting, and a burn. That's why I found a smart husband. Well, that's that makes that's great, but you should be able to stand on your own two legs, right? Are you taking a nap? Nope. She's listening to instructions. Yeah. Ooh, Look that's that. a big sack. Look at that. It's kind of coming out now, isn't it? Yes. Let's work a little bit on the other side here, and I'll bet you it comes on out. Look at that. That's... wow. Sometimes just a little gentle tugging. You okay? I'm too great. She's doing a fantastic job. Look at all that coming out of there now, guys. That's Did, Could you insane. imagine there was that much in there? No. Look at that beautiful sack coming out. You know what's funny? It doesn't. It does not look that big. No, not until you get it out, right? It yes. Up, look at it's like a flower. It is like a flower right there. Yeah. I'm just going to keep gentle tugging and we're going to get that all out of there. Look at that. Here's wow. Coming, coming right in. Just a little pull. You know what I'm going to have to do is give it a little snip, but that's clearly the whole sack right there. Wow. That's coming out in one beautiful piece. Or Actually, we had probably pulled a couple little pieces off of it, but we're definitely, I can tell you that we have 100% of this cyst removed now from your cheek and I would I'm so tempted to show this to you because it's really quite impressive um, but you'll have to wait for the video yeah it's, it's out oh it's out I'm just cleaning it all up now just checking it making sure there's not any little sometimes you know you're 11 years old right and so it got infected at one point and anytime that happens we always end up with some scar tissue and that kind of thing well if we're not careful some of the cyst can actually or cyst walk in it here to that scar tissue, making it uh, somewhat possible to see a return of the cyst. And we don't want that to happen, right? So we are almost done. So I can tell you, you're getting a little uncomfortable there. I'm excited you did this video, dog. It was a fun video, huh? It was. A fun cyst. Blue Iris is a great patient. You know, she's got something else for us to remove later on. She has a little pilar cyst. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. Where they're supposed to be. You're blocking the stitch, sir. Well, that's inevitable. You got the scissors. I got the scissors. I got some great news for you, Blue Iris. Yeah. You got, you got a blue stitch, <laughs> and we we are finished. Thank that's going to heal so, so beautifully. I bet you almost don't have any scar at all. Thanks so much for letting us video your procedure. You're okay, so you've been taking cocoa skin. Been taking Coco Skin and uh, Meta Seven Wonderful. for probably a year and a half now. Okay. Love them both. I highly recommend them. My skin is great. I feel moisturized. I, I'm, they're wonderful. Take your hat off for me. Oh. I want everybody to see how pretty your skin is. My hair's oily. Oh, your hair's wonderful. So, have you noticed that you've lost some crow's feet or anything like that in particular? Or a little bit. A little yeah, a little bit. Okay, all right. Because you do look like I mean, you you're glowing almost. You have a real natural look about you. So, well, wonderful. I'm glad you're liking the Coco Skin and the Meta Seven. I take them both. Highly mm. recommend it. Thanks. <laughs> Make sure to check out Coco Skin Plus for thicker nails, healthier skin, and better hair. And check out Meta7 for more energy throughout the day. There are Amazon links in the description below. Do you love Dr. Gilmore's cyst bursting, pimple popping, and infection draining videos? Want to see the extended procedures with never before seen footage, early releases, and no ads? 
Then support us on Patreon for dozens of HD ad-free videos. And don't worry, you can still watch on YouTube for free. But if you want the premium content with no ads, become a patron on Patreon. There's a link in the description. Hey folks, you spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta 7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing, I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day, I've worked 12 hour shifts. Just go, go, go all day, it makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it, it's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description. Also, check out Dr. Gilmore's 7-piece kit, available on Amazon for under $20. It's got a leather case, and it's compact in size, good for traveling. See link below.